What's up guys, Spotjack here. Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over Simbrief. Now Simbrief is a free online website that makes virtual flight plans for flight simming. Whether you're on VatSim, you're on Pilot Edge, or you're just flying because um, you want to fly. Now this video is going to be going over what it has to offer, what it does, um, how to get started, how to like make an account and all that, how to like even get it into your avatar if you're flying on X-Plane. So, let's just go over this. So, let's see what we have here. We have About. I've never looked in About. I've never done anything there. Register. Haven't done it. Well, I, I made. I did create an account. You're gonna want to create an account for um, Simbrief. Um, it's self-explanatory. Just go in there, put in some credentials and you'll be good to go. So, create an account for uh, Simbrief, you'll be good to go. Dispatch, this is where we're gonna be spending our time. Help, don't look in here either, and support, nothing even there. So, Dispatch. Now, we have Dispatch System, My Flight Plan, Safe Flight, there, there's a lot of other stuff here, but, um, Pretty much the only two I ever really use is Dispatch System and My Flight Plan. So we're gonna go to Dispatch System. If you're using Simbri for the first time, you're gonna want to go to Dispatch System. So you come here and you're like, ooh, okay. So we've got four things: create new flight, load saved flight, edit last flight, view last flight. If this is your first time using Simbri, you don't have a last flight. You're gonna just create a new flight. Now. We're just gonna click that. So look at this nice blank canvas for us to use. So there's only four things, five things you have to do to make your whole flight plan. Our airline, we're flying Southwest Airlines. Our flight number, let's just come up with something random. Uh, seven nine six four. We're departing from uh, Midway, and we're going to um, Fort Lauderdale. Okay, you have to put the full ICAO in there, and your airline ICAO as well. And airframe, we're flying uh, 737-800. And look at this. It makes... Your flight plan for you gives you all of this info. You are good. That's literally, I could literally end the video here if I wanted to, but we're going to go over a few more things. So, um, you can see it gives you, it already gives you an alternate airport just in case you have to divert. So, look down here, we have a map. So, we've got all our different waypoints and stuff. Going over Indiana, Kentucky. Tennessee, go over Atlanta, Tampa, and we come from here. It is a straight shot into Fort Lauderdale. Now, this is your path in case you do have to divert to Orlando for whatever reason. Um, so, you can see it gives you a scheduled flight time. So, the scheduled flight time is three hours. Three hours for midway to Fort Lauderdale. It gives you a um, departure runway, 04 right, so we're departing out of runway 04 right, out of midway, and we're arriving on runway 10 left for um, um, Fort Lauderdale. Now, um, now I did, I just erased my first last thing because I don't want people seeing it, and uh, passengers, you could just put as many passengers as you want. Let's just say we're flying with like 116 passengers in cargo. I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to put that at auto. Now, that's pretty much all you need to do for this half up here. Uh, now, actually, something I like to do is I just like to put units. I put this in pounds just in case I use the fuel system for this. Now, you can see down here, it gives you your flight plan. So we have Dennett. Darcy, Dregs, um, Doom, get no, I, I don't know. We have Skodo, Swap, 
uh, <coughs> Alpha Tango Lima, that's Atlanta, UIS, I don't know, uh, Quebec 7 Niner, Doffy, Bulk, and Jingle 6. Now, Dennett is going to be our um, departure Sid, and Jingle 6 is going to be our arrival star for Fort Lauderdale. Okay? That's pretty much all we have to do for Sim Brief. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to click Generate um, OFP, Generate uh, Flight Plane using these options. Click this. And you can see. Just let it do a little dance. And boom. Here's our flight plan. There it is. Now it gives you your paperwork, just in case you use that. Now, um, if you're flying on VATSIM or Pilot Edge, you want to just click pre-file here. I don't fly on VATSIM or Pilot Edge, um, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, from there, it's self-explanatory, though, once you get there. Um, so, this is something I like to do. Print slash view PDF. If we click this, you can see... Here's the paperwork. Now, something that's really nice, if you come up to the top right, you can click download. And now I can put this directly into my Avatab for when I'm flying on X-Plane 11. Now here's all my other flight plans that I've made here. Um, I'm not gonna save this since I'm not doing this flight. So I'm just gonna close out. And um, you don't have to put this into your avatar if you don't want to. This is just, um, it just makes it easier. So, um, to make uh, your FMC life a bit easier, we're going to do this. So we're going to come back to here, and if we scroll down, you can see we have a bunch and a bunch of different things that say download. Now, um, if you're flying on like P3D or FSX, I don't know um, if this is going to work or not, but I know this works on X-Plane. So if you're flying on X-Plane 11, um, you want to, you're going to want to scroll down to here, go to X-Plane 11, click a download. You can see this is downloading, so now we're going to click this arrow, go show, show and folder. And here it is, right here. So we're going to right click on it, click copy. And then I can go directly into my FMS plans. Um, you're going to have to make a new folder and just call it exactly FMS plans. And then I can just paste it in here for when I want to do that flight. It's as easy as that. And that is pretty much uh, sim brief in a nutshell, okay? In a nutshell, I'll just call it the series. So, um, fuel and options and stuff that'll be in another very brief. You know, what, let's have, let's just go. Let's just go over fuel right now. Um, so, to make to get your fuel plan, you're going to want to go to another website called fuelplanner.com. So let's go there real quick. So here we go. Advanced flight simulation fuel planning. This is where I this is where I come to every time to get my fuel for my flights. So, three things you gotta do. Select your aircraft. Um, let's say you're flying the Zebo mod, 737-800. There we go. Our origin is, um, you said it was Midway, and our arrival is Fort Lauderdale. We're just going to click Planner, and boom, it gives us, it gives us all the info we need. So, our total fuel is 22.7 pounds. That that's literally all the info I need. Sometimes we'll need a uh, reservation fuel, which is 7.2. I just I just do that 90% of the time. But total fuel 22.7 or 22,700 pounds. That is all the info we need. So you'll have enough fuel to stay in the air for almost an hour extra if you put in 22.7 thousand pounds. So um, all weight is in pounds. I don't know if you can do it in kilograms or not, because I don't fly in Europe that much. But, um, total fuel, there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, that's what I'm going to call it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, 
on this video. If you make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.